I am your host, Michael Yerby. It's another lovely day in Shreveport, Louisiana. We are five hours away from New Orleans, three hours away from Dallas, but I'm just one minute from getting in your butt if you haven't gotten up to start your day. Welcome to the Breakfast Boost. You know, I was making a playlist for my eggs this morning. I like to start them off with some good tunes. It's all yolks, though. They prefer the sunny side up beat music. No, I'll work on it. Hello and good morning to all of you out there. Welcome back to the Breakfast Boost, the podcast that's the first sip of coffee for your soul. I am Michael Yerby, here to sprinkle a little sunshine into your day. Today, we're going to unpack some amazing tricks to help you wake up with a smile. Think of it as your personal toolkit for turning your good mornings into great mornings. Whether you're tuning in from Spotify, YouTube, or Apple, or any other corner of the digital world you hear this show, I'm glad you're here. Let's kick things off with today's thought. Your morning sets the tone of your day. Choose positivity. Now, I know what you're thinking. Easier said than done, right? But stick with me. We're going to break down exactly how a positive start can make all the difference and how you can make it happen. Yes, you. So grab your favorite morning brew, get comfy, and let's dive into the world of morning mindset magic. And hey, while you're at it, why not share a snap of your morning setup on Instagram or a quick tweet about your favorite part of the episode. Use the hashtag morning positivity boost and let's make positivity viral. Ready to transform your mornings? Let's get started. Hey there, you early birds, or even you snooze button fans. It's Michael Yerby here, back with the Wake Up Wisdom on the Breakfast Boost. Today's thought is a gem. Your morning sets the tone for your day. Choose positivity. Now let's unpack that, shall we? You see how you start your day is like the very first thing you do really sets up how the rest of your day goes. It's like the opening scene to your favorite movie. It grabs your attention and sets the stage. Think about it. When you wake up and instantly dive into the phone, checking your emails, scrolling through social media, your brain gets flooded with information and not always the happy kind. It's like filling up on candy for breakfast. Sure, it's sweet at first, but it doesn't really give you what you need to have a great day. But what if you started differently? Like imagining waking up and giving yourself a moment, a moment to stretch, to breathe, to think about what you're grateful for or even to enjoy the quiet. That's like having a wholesome breakfast. It fuels you better, right? In today's world, where online friends from Instagram to TikTok, Facebook to Twitter are sharing their lives 24-7, it's easy to get caught up in what everyone else is doing when you wake up. But hey, what about you? Your morning is your special time to set your own scene for your day. So here's a little challenge for you. Tomorrow morning, before you reach for your phone, Take just a few minutes for yourself. Stretch, take some deep breaths, and think of one thing you're looking forward to in this day. Then, if you feel like it, hop on your favorite social media platform and share your morning positivity tip using the hashtag MorningPositivityBoost. Let's spread some good vibes. Remember, your morning is your launch pad for the day. Make it count, make it positive, and watch it transform the rest of your day. Trust me. You will thank yourself later. All right, friends, let's dive into our core message for today, where we explore more about the science of positivity and some cool mindset hacks to kickstart your day. Stay tuned. Welcome back, folks. You're listening to The Breakfast Boost with me, Michael Yerby. Let's jump right into the heart of today's episode, Mindset Hacks for a Positive Morning. First off, let's talk science. Yes, there's real science behind positivity in the morning. When you start your day on a high note, your brain releases feel-good chemicals. It's like flipping a switch that lights up your mood and energy. This is not just fluffy talk. It's backed by psychology and biology. But hey. Let's keep it real. 
We all know those morning traps that can pull us down. Scrolling through social media, getting tangled up in the news, or just starting the day with a groan thinking about work. Sound familiar? These are what are called negative traps. It's easy to fall into. But hey, we can climb out. Here's a game changer. The Power Hour. Think of it as your morning superhero. Break your first hour into three parts. 20 minutes of moving your body, a quick walk, some stretching, dancing in the kitchen, whatever feels good. 20 minutes of mindfulness, meditation, deep breathing, or just enjoying a quiet cup of coffee. And 20 minutes of motivation, reading something uplifting, listening to a podcast like this one, or setting goals for today. Next up, positive affirmation. These are like the personal cheers for yourself. Look in the mirror and say something good about your day. Today's going to be awesome. I'm going to nail that presentation or I'm going to be a great friend. Say it like you mean it. And don't forget visualization. Close your eyes for a moment and picture your day going brilliantly. See yourself smashing those goals and smiling through the day. It's like rehearsing in your mind and it sets you up for success. Let me share some real life stories I heard from listeners just like you who turned their mornings and lives around with these hats. There's Rachel from Instagram who started doing more yoga and says she's never felt calmer. Or Mike from Twitter who replaced his morning news with the positive podcast like this one <laughs> so he can feel more upbeat. Before we wrap up this segment, I want to leave you with a thought. Your morning is a magic wand for today. How you wave it matters. So what do you say? Ready to transform your mornings? Share your journey with us using a hashtag morning positivity boost on your favorite social media. Let's make every morning a boost. Stay tuned as we dive into the boost of the day exercise coming up next. You won't want to miss it. All right, amazing listeners, it's Michael here, and you're tuned in to the Breakfast Boost. It's time for the boost of the day, a special part where we put into practice what we've been talking about. Today is all about simple yet powerful morning exercise, and it takes just five minutes. Yes, you heard me, only five minutes to set a positive tone for your entire day. So here's what I want you to do. Whether you're listening from your bed, your kitchen, or on your morning commute, you can join in. If you're driving, please keep your eyes on the road, but you can still follow along mentally. First, let's start with one minute of deep breathing. Breathe in slowly through your nose, hold it for a second, and then breathe out through your mouth. Let each breath help you clear your mind. Imagine you're sweeping away any stress or worries, making room for a fresh and new day. Next up, two minutes of positive affirmation. Here's where you tell yourself something good, something uplifting. You can use your own or try these. Today, I choose to be happy. I am capable of great things. I am a positive force in this world. Say it like you believe it, because you should. And finally, spend the last two minutes visualizing your day. Picture yourself succeeding, smiling, and enjoying your day. Visualize tackling your tasks with confidence and joy. And let's set a mental blueprint for a fantastic day. And there you have it, folks. A simple five-minute exercise that can really turn your mornings around. I challenge you to try this every morning for a week. Trust me, you will feel the difference. And I love to hear how it's going for you. Share your experience on social media using the hashtag Morning Positivity Boost. Let's spread the word and inspire others to start their day off right. Remember. A positive morning leads to a positive day, and it all starts with you. You got this. That's the boost of the day. Stick around for the wrap up of today's episode where we recap key tips and give you a sneak peek at next week's topic. Don't go anywhere. And just like that, we're at the end of another episode of The Breakfast Boost. It's your host, Michael Yerby, signing off. 
But before we go, let's quickly recap of what we talked about today. We started our day by talking about the power of positive mornings. Remember, how you begin your day really sets the tone for the rest of it. We explore how positivity in the morning isn't just a feel-good talk, it's backed by science. Those first moments after you wake up are a golden opportunity to set yourself up for success. We discuss those morning traps like the social media and the news vortex and how to avoid them. Instead, we looked at the powerful mindset hacks that kickstart your day. The power hour, remember? 20 minutes of movement, mindfulness and motivation are the formula to get your day rolling in the right direction. We also talked about the importance of positive affirmation and visualization. Simple yet powerful tools to affirm your self-worth and visualize your success. Do not underestimate the power of telling yourself something good every morning in a world full of anger, depression, and mischievousness. And let's not forget the boost of the day. The five-minute morning exercise, deep breathing, affirmations, and visualization. I hope you give it a try and share your experience using our hashtag Morning Positivity Boost. Let's create a ripple effect of positivity. Looking forward to next week, we're tackling morning anxiety and steps for a calmer start to your day. It's something that you definitely don't want to miss, especially if your mornings sometimes feel overwhelming. Lastly, a big thank you to you all for tuning in, sharing, and being part of this community. If you found today's episode helpful, remember to subscribe, rate, and share with someone who could use a morning boost. And for your daily dose of motivation and tips, follow us on our Discord server or WhatsApp communities. Stick around for an outro for today's episode where we end our episode with a bang. Actually, it's more like a triumphant bow, but you get the picture. Stay tuned. Hey there, listeners. It's Michael Yerby wrapping up today's episode of The Breakfast Boost. What a ride it's been, right? We talked about waking up positive and how those first moments in the morning can really transform your entire day. Remember, it's all about those small steps, breathing deeply, positive affirmation, and visualizing the great day ahead. Try these out and see the magic unfold in your morning. Don't forget to connect with us on social media, share your morning boost experiences, thoughts, and even your morning selfies with us at the hashtag Morning Positivity Boost. Let's keep this conversation going on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. Your stories inspire us and everyone in our community. And if you love today's episode, don't be a little sus. Follow me on Spotify, Apple, or YouTube. Leave us a rating and spread the word. Share this podcast with your friends, family, and anyone you feel that needs a little boost in their morning. And hey, stay tuned for next week's episode where we tackle morning anxiety with some calming strategies. You won't want to miss it. This is Michael Yerby reminding you that every morning is a new beginning. Make it count, stay positive, stay motivated, and let's make every day a little brighter. Until next time, keep boosting your mornings. Hey.